morning and welcome to WBKS News. Today is April 4th and it's a B1 day. I'm Troy Sally. And I'm Mike Flaherty. Attention all Kearney parents and students. There's now Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages to inform you about all upcoming Kearney events and news. Just go to the Kearney website where there are links for all three. Go to the Facebook link and click the like button and go to YouTube and watch all the past BK news videos. Attention, NavGab is coming. Save the date, Monday, April 11th from 5 to 9 p.m. at BK. The time to play video games and eat and have fun. Just a reminder from the guidance office, don't forget to sign up for the May 7th SAT test. The last day to sign up is April 8th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. LaFroyce in the guidance office. Anyone Miss Ms. Richardson's Block 2 personal finance class, there is a test tomorrow, April 5th. Review sheets are available in her room, A3, and the answers are in SharePoint. Thank you. So, Mike, you think about going to Navgab? Yeah, I think so, you know, playing some of my favorite games, COD. Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, the best yeah. games. That takes me back, I think. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, news about our clubs. Hello, band people. We'll have a band rehearsal tomorrow, April 5th, from 2.15 to 3. Please make arrangements to be there. Hey, Bishop Carney, listen up. April 14th is National Poem in Your Pocket Day. For this day, the English Club will be hosting a dress-down day. What do you have to do to dress down? In exchange for $2, you'll be given a poem by your homeroom teacher to keep in your pocket for the day. This will be your dress-down pass, so make sure to keep it in your pocket. All proceeds will go towards helping the English Club print this spring. Talk to Ms. Hoffman if you have any questions and get ready to show your literary pride April 14th. Attention, Carney students. Key Club is currently holding a book drive to benefit children at School 25. The drive ends April 29th and your participation is greatly appreciated. So, Mike, you going to be uh, donating a book or two? Uh, I don't know about that. That's... Yeah, I was thinking about it. I, I have a few extra books at home. Those old Dr. Seuss books or something like the foot book or yeah, definitely. one fish, two fish? Yep. Yep. Best books ever. Yep. So now let's throw it to uh, BK Sports with Kenny Wynn. The boys varsity lacrosse team won their first game last week against Medina, 13-9. Andrew Chewick and Nate Kessler both had five goals, and Dylan Miller had three goals. Kyle Miller had six saves. Good job, guys. Attention all members of the JV and varsity golf teams. We will meet at the team room at 3 o'clock for practice today. Today's practices are girls varsity softball at 3 o'clock, varsity lacrosse at 345, girls JV softball at 4 o'clock, and boys varsity baseball at 5 o'clock. And that will do it for sports. So how about that lacrosse team? First win this season. Yeah. Starting pretty, off pretty strong, I guess. Yeah, undefeated. pretty big win. Yeah, undefeated. definitely. Yep, they're undefeated. So congrats to the lacrosse team and Andrew Chadwick and Nate for both having five goals. Almost a double hat trick. Yeah. Dylan had a hat trick. <laughs> so I guess that's a pretty good way to start the season, huh? Yep, hopefully we'll win this week, too. Yep, definitely. Sounds like a plan, then. So that'll do it for BK uh, News. I'm Troy Sally. I'm Mike Flaherty. And I'm Kenny Wynn. Have a good day. Awesome.